Let me show you how I transformed this photo into this one, creating some really cool glowing neon steps. The first thing is to create a selection for these two steps. You can just simply use the polygonal lasso tool for this and create the selection for the first one. After this is ready, you can hold shift to add to this selection and continuing with the polygonal lasso tool, you create a selection for the second step. To fill in this selection, just go and add a solid color adjustment layer and don't worry about the color now. Just make it white because you will fine tune the color a bit later using a different method. So click OK and then you can rename this layer to stairs just to keep this whole document well organized and then hide this layer for the moment. The next step is to create a selection for the person. You can use whatever selection method you want. I would recommend using the pen tool because you can get a very precise selection this way. You don't have to worry too much about the hair, so a medium quality selection will do just fine. We will play a lot with lighting in this tutorial, so having a selection for the person is very helpful. Now you can right click inside the area, choose make selection, enter a one pixel feather and click OK. Click once on the background layer and now press Ctrl plus J to duplicate the selection on a new layer. Now you have the original image and on top a separate layer with the person that you can rename to whatever you want. Everything is set up properly now so we can move on to this exciting part where we will play with lighting effects. So you can unhide the stairs layer and the next step is to darken the whole image. Select the layer with the person and add a color lookup layer on top. From this list, select the moonlight effect and you can see it adds this bluish dark effect, which is what we want. You need to darken the image in order to have some lighting effects coming from the neon steps. Otherwise, the effect is not so intense. Now go and right click on the stairs layer and choose blending options because it's time to add some awesome glow effects here. First enable the color overlay and then click to change the color into this one. Also check the inner glow box, go and modify the color as well here. You can just pause the screen and see what settings that I use here. The most important part is this, choke 0 and size 20. If you use another image, these settings could change, so you need to experiment. Also set the range to 50 and the jitter to 0 and make sure the blending mode is on normal. With this effect, you can see that the edges of the steps just became a bit darker. We try to simulate a neon light here. Next, enable the outer glow. This needs to be on the linear dodge blending mode. You can change the color into this one, set the opacity to 80, spread to 3, and size to 30 and also the range to 90. Next on the list is the drop shadow. Enable this one too. Use the same color like for the outer glow. Normal blending mode, 70 for the opacity, minus 90 degrees for the angle and you can set 200 for the size. This drop shadow really creates a nice and soft glow effect like a dreamy slash fantasy look if you want and together with the inner and outer glow you can obtain this awesome glowing neon effect for the steps. You can hit OK now and we need to go to the next step of this tutorial and paint some light on the clothes and skin of the person. That will create a more realistic effect but before that Press the thumbs up on this video if you find some value and let's move on to the next step which is to create a new empty layer on top of the stairs layer. You can rename it to lighting for example, then hold control and click on the thumbnail of the second layer with the person. This will load up the selection and now click on this icon to create a layer mask on that new layer. What's cool about this is that if you start brushing on this layer with any color, the affected area will be limited to this layer mask. So you can start to paint some light, but first let's put this layer on screen blending mode. Choose a color for the foreground, make sure the background remains black and also the flow should be at 3% and the opacity at 100 and you can start painting with some light on the clothes just like this. You will need to paint on the bottom parts of the creases in this case. That's because we have a light source that's coming from the two glowing steps below the person. So while you paint, make sure you use a smaller brush to create the light accents that are more intense and then try to fade it away using a bigger brush. If you will try this for the first time, don't discourage yourself because you will need some practice with this. But also, if you have questions, leave them in the comment section because I will read them all and try to reply to help you. And just to let you know, 
painting with light is hard in the beginning. I personally admire lots of artists and other YouTubers who are doing an amazing job at this, while I still need to learn a lot in this area. You can clearly see a difference now. It looks more real, but we're not finished yet. We need to create two more empty layers that will help us to create some more light behind the person on the wall, but also a soft light on her clothes. You can rename one of the layers to front and the other one to back. I will grab one of the layers and place it between the original image and the layer with the woman, change the foreground color to this one, and with a 3% flow, I start painting with light behind her to insert some lighting effects on the wall and then using the same procedure, I paint with a bigger brush on the front layer to create more softness for the lighting effect. Of course, you can spend more time to have better results, but I think it looks awesome. It's really cool. As I said, leave me a comment below and tell me if you enjoyed watching this tutorial and if you want me to create more videos like this one in the future. 